morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of the um, Maximum Weight Loss Challenge for Dr. McDougall. And I am going to make, well, I was actually, I wanted to make a, a fried rice recipe, but I don't have the pineapple and I forgot to get the broccoli. I, I thought I could leave the pineapple out, it wouldn't be that big a deal, but I also forgot the broccoli, so we'll just put that one off for now. Um, I am going to make, it's called Barbecued Bean Sloppy Joes, which sounds really yummy to me. I'm a little bit surprised that this recipe counts as maximum weight loss because of the barbecue sauce. Um, which has both salt and sugar in it, which you're supposed to pretty much try to eliminate sugar and minimize salt, but I don't know. Maybe because there's so much ingredients in here that just this three quarters cup of barbecue sauce isn't really that big of a deal. I'm not really sure. But anyways, let's talk about this. Um, I am, I'm really excited about this one. It sounds like it's going to be really tasty. I just like the ingredients that are in it, so it should be good. So first thing you want to do is get a bell pepper. It doesn't matter what color. It doesn't say what color at least, so I picked an orange one. And um, it doesn't say what size onion either, so I just picked an onion. I always have really, really big onions in the house because we buy them at Costco and they're massive, and I like onions and stuff. So you take an onion and chop it, and you take a bell pop pepper and chop it, and you want to put that in a dish, and you want to cook it um, on the stove. It says just for about three minutes, um, and it also says to cook it in a quarter of a cup of um, vegetable broth. <laughs> Drew a blank there for a second. Um, but I don't need to do that. I mean, it's an onion. It'll be just fine without any liquid in it whatsoever. I'll keep... I'll keep track of it. If it needs a little bit of water, I'll just splash some water in there. I don't really feel the need to open up a can container of vegetable broth for that purpose. So besides the fact that it's already got salt in it from the barbecue sauce, and so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so that's step number one. And then this is actually pretty easy. There's not a whole lot else going on here, to be honest with you. So you need some cooked brown rice, which I actually just got done. Ooh, there we go. Just got done with that. Um, I was waiting for that to get done before I started um, everything else but so you need three cups of cooked brown rice that's taken care of um, you need two cans of pinto beans drained I have drained and rinsed them so I've got two cans of pinto beans you really could use whatever bean you want to I happen to have two cans of pinto beans open in the refrigerator if I hadn't had two cans open which they're full we just use we use the aquafaba the liquid that comes off of bean juice like for a lot of different things so anyways um, if those hadn't been full and I'd had other beans in the fridge I just would have used whatever was open I'm sure it would be absolutely fine then you also want three quarters cup of fat-free barbecue sauce and one and a half tablespoons of chili powder. So this is the barbecue sauce that I'm going to use. It's from Kroger. Um, that's not gonna be three quarters of a cup and that's a bummer, but that's all that I have. I don't have any more in the closet. We always, my husband has like this grocery list that he just prints off the computer that has most of the things that we purchase on it. And then quick before we go to the store, he just opens the closets up and whatever's not in the closet, he just puts down on the list and off we go and get groceries. It's really very convenient, it's very, very easy. But, um, I guess this one just didn't get repurchased at some point in time, or maybe it's not on the list. I don't know, I'll have to check it out. Um, we do have another barbecue sauce in the refrigerator, but it's a sriracha, it's from Trader Joe's. It's sriracha and garlic and something barbecue sauce, and it's spicy, so that's not going in my food. <laughs> However, you could use whatever barbecue sauce you guys are uh, most enjoy using. I really, really like this one. This is probably my second favorite. My first favorite was one that Aldi's had for a long time, and then they just stopped selling it, which was really sad because I really liked it. But it was spicy-ish, but not like so spicy that I couldn't stand it, which means it probably wasn't spicy for most people, but I thought it was really good. Anyway, this one is really good. If you guys have a Kroger, it's worth checking out their organic barbecue sauce. It's pretty tasty. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm going to cook the onions and the peppers. It says just for three minutes, so you just wanna start softening them, so okay, fine. And then, um, dump everything else in. So you put in your three cups of brown rice, two cans of beans, three quarters cup of barbecue sauce, one and a half tablespoons of chili powder. Did I even mention the chili powder? I don't think so. Anyways, we get our chili powder in bulk at Sprouts. Um, so I'm actually going to put in one tablespoon of chili powder and then try it and then see if it needs the extra half a tablespoon because I'm a little hesitant to put the whole tablespoon and a half in there because I'm kind of a wuss about stuff. So I'm going to try it with one tablespoon first and then if it needs more, they'll put the other half in there. But. Anyway, I'm going to go get this started, and um, you're supposed to then actually, after you get all those ingredients in there, let's see if you cover it or not. I don't actually remember. It says cook for 12 minutes until well heated. Um, I'm probably going to cover it, to be honest with you, because I want the onions to finish cooking. So, yeah. Anyway, that's what I'm going to go do, and I will be back with you guys in a little bit. So, real quick though, you could eat this on a bun, and that would be great. Or you could even put it in a, like a romaine lettuce and roll it up or something along those lines. But if the purpose of this challenge is to do as much like a half a plate of vegetables with your half a plate of starch so that you're satisfied but you're getting your vegetables in, um, I'm going to serve this over uh, cauliflower. 
I, I cooked cauliflower. I think that's gonna taste wonderful. I think it's gonna be very, very good. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do with mine. I'm also going to chop up a bell pepper, another orange bell pepper that I have, and scoop it. So those are the two ways that I'm going to eat um, this. I think that both of those will be very tasty. Um, but yeah, let's go get some cooking done and I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. All right guys, so this looks really awesome. There's a pepper with some stuff in it and some cauliflower with a whole bunch of stuff on it. Um, two things. One, I did not need more of the, um, I just barely tasted it because it's really, really hot, but I don't, I don't need more chili powder. Uh, this was absolutely fine. I would recommend using a full three quarters cup of barbecue sauce though, because that really is the main flavor of it besides the chili um, powder and depending upon whether or not you like barbecue sauce, I guess. <laughs> um, this is pretty good. I like this a lot actually. So, yeah, I definitely don't need that extra tablespoon of chili powder. If you guys do, add it in there. Um, this makes a lot, like a lot, a full pot full, like a lot. So anyway, I'm going to go chop up the rest of my cauliflower, spread it out in between my two containers. I'm going to take that with me. Um, I'm actually going to eat this now because I haven't eaten yet and I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat that now. Um, so I went to move stuff around on my counter earlier and found something vaguely disturbing that I'm not really sure what to do with. I'm one of those type of people that if there's a creepy crawly in my house, just pick it up and put it outside. Okay? I, I, I do kill flies when they're in the house. Um, getting them back outside is just very difficult. Um, typically if it's a spider, my kids are well trained enough that they will get a paper towel or something and let it walk up on it and just toss it outside. And so, no big deal. However, um, I do kill uh, fire ants because I just, they're just a menace. Oh my gosh, they're horrible. In fact, one of the gentlemen at the hospital that I work at um, passed out in his front yard and is just covered in fire ant bites. Like he fell into a fire ant pile of them and just horrible, horrible, gross, miserable. So anyway, um, I was moving stuff around and moved the bananas. and So my bananas on the sticker say that they're from Honduras. So... Normally, if I found something that was creepy crawly on a banana, I would be like, ooh, ew, and just throw it away and let it go be free out in the world and be wild and it would just be wonderful. I'm a little concerned with if there's a creepy crawly on a banana that came from Honduras that maybe it's not meant to be in the United States. Maybe this particular creepy crawly should not have come here. So I have a banana that's cracked open and split, no big deal, but it definitely has something on it. Like, eh, something. And you guys really can't see in there, but I can see in there, and it's black and shiny, like shiny and black, and eee. I'm really, really tempted to not allow that to live and to make it past uh, the garbage, so I'm not sure. I'm going to let my husband deal with this, what I'm going to do. Isn't that lovely of me? Um, but I'm, I don't think that I can let that just happily go out in the garbage and make its way out into the world and be happy, because I don't know what that is. And I don't know if it should be in the United States. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's it for my excitement for the morning. Um, I don't really like bugs at all, but I don't also, like I said, I don't usually kill them. I just, here, go back outside. I don't want you in my house. Go, just go. But anyways, this one I think is going to uh, be dead very shortly. So anyways, it's 4.50ish. I have to leave in about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go pack up my food and uh, do up some dishes real quick. And I will talk to you guys again later. I hope you're having a good one. Try this recipe, it's very good. It was very simple, very easy. That's one thing I like about Dr. McDougall, that a lot of his recipes tend to be pretty darn straightforward, pretty easy. I mean, not that there's not a decent amount of ingredients in some of them, but they're pretty basic. I mean, beans and rice, you know, ta-da. Anyways, I'm gonna go, I'll talk to you guys again later. All right, guys, so I just got to work a little bit ago, and I thought I would show you something that I picked up at the store. So I needed to stop and get barbecue sauce, and um, we were running out of peanut butter here at, the, at work, which I don't eat at the moment, but that's okay. Um, went ahead and purchased some more peanut butter. Um, and I was walking up the aisle, and I found two really cool things. So this first one is probably not too big of a deal, but it's kind of exciting. So it's, it's called veggie rice, and this is sweet potatoes. This is literally 100% sweet potato. There's nothing in here but sweet potato. Um, so you just tear the top off. You could cook it on the stove. You can cook it in the microwave in a bowl or you could just tear, it says tear the top off and cook it in the pouch if you want to. Um, so anyway, I thought that was kind of neat. But the one that I'm really excited about, same thing, they also have that in cauliflower, is one that's cauliflower rice with stuff. And this has, the whole package has 80 calories, 
Um, 40 milligrams of sodium total. And it's got cauliflower, tomato powder, garlic powder, minced onion, black olive, tomato granules, black pepper, oregano, paprika, parsley, and basil. So there's no salt added to this. There's no oil in here and there's no added sugars. I thought this was really exciting. So I thought I would show you guys that. I don't know if you guys have that somewhere around where you are at or not. Um, I will try it maybe today, maybe not today. I don't know actually whether or not I'll try it today. I'm kind of excited, so I think I might try it today, but we'll see. I'm not 100% sure whether I'll try it today or not, but if I do, I'll let you guys know what it's like when I try it later, I'll t when I talk to you later. Otherwise, whenever I eat it, I'll let you know. So anyway, just thought I would show you something new that I found at the store. It's kind of exciting when you find something without oil in it. Yay. Okay, we'll talk to you again soon. Hello everyone. So yeah, cauliflower rice with tomatoes and garlic and um, okay. If you like olives, you would probably really like it. It was just a, just too bitter for me um, from the black olives that were in it. There wasn't a ton of black olives because the whole thing only had two grams of fat in it total. So it wasn't like there was a ton of olives. Um, but I didn't really care for it super, super lots at all. So I didn't eat it. Um, my tech didn't care for it either. So anyway, it wasn't awesome. However, if you like olives, um, I would highly recommend you try it because it definitely had that flavor to it. And it, I mean, if you could get past the olive flavor, it definitely had other flavors in there like the tomato and the garlic. It was good, except for that olive I don't know, flavor-ish that was there. I, I didn't care for that. So anyway, that's what that is. I did end up eating some hummus and I had my cauliflower with uh, beans and rice and my husband ate the um, beans and rice for lunch, just to let you guys know. And he did not actually put any more barbecue sauce on it and thought it was just great the way that it was. He really enjoyed it, thought it was really tasty. Um, didn't do anything else to it, no black pepper, no anything. He just thought it was good the way it was. So that's cool. Um, I did put a tiny little bit, probably like, geez, I don't even know if it was a full tablespoon of um, barbecue sauce on it, maybe. But anyway, it was definitely worth it. I thought that really added to it. There's a big huge accident right here with like four colors. Oh, somebody went off the road. That's a bummer. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go home, and if I am still hungry, um, I brought grapes with me again today as a, a serving to eat twice, and I didn't eat them at all, so I'm gonna munch on them on my way home. Um, and then if I'm hungry when I get home, I'm going to have more beans and rice. So that's not, I know, super exciting to you guys or anything, because that's the third time today I'll have eaten it, but that's okay. That's what I'm going to do. I don't think that I'll be hungry by the time I get home. I think I'll be full from eating um, the few grapes that I have with me. I don't, I'm not gonna be hungry again. I'm just very tired. So anyways, that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you had a great day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.